happening anyway. I'm going to be doing a glow up video for Brian today. Um, he needs to be clipped, he's looking very messy. Um, and now he's back in full work again, jumping and everything, doing full sessions again. He is sweating quite a lot when I ride him. So he needs to be clipped to avoid that. He's also throwing out so much hair. He's mulching so much. So I just thought it'd be best to give him a clip, um, make him look all nice and neat again, and hopefully ready for some shows. Uh, I just want to give you a quick update on Ryan because you will notice soon that he won't be in the vlogs being ridden for any time soon. Um, there's nothing actually like, well, it's hard to explain. It's a long story, but basically when we bought him and he had his x-rays and stuff, we knew that he didn't have the best feet. Um, his feet are quite flat and his heels are quite low to the ground. Um, so we've had him for about just under a year and a half now and we've been trying to slowly change that because obviously you can't do any majorly quick changes with their feet because they'll end up just going lame and being very foot sore. So we've been trying to gradually change his feet to try and help support them and make them better because otherwise in long term it's just going to cause him issues with his feet being the way they are um, and the way that they're shaped. Basically his pastern bone, I think it is, is at a negative degree, so it's like this, when it should be either at a zero degree, so straight, or at a very, very slight positive degree of anything. Um, so we need to get that changed and just support that pastern bone. But basically, he's been fine up until now. The remedial shoeing that he's had has been fine, but where I've started doing more of him now that he's six and jumping him bigger, um, obviously there's a lot more strain put on his feet and his tendons so we've just noticed that his legs have been a bit more swollen than usual um and yeah he did, he was a little bit off the other day to ride not majorly but like the tiny bit and now i know him i kind of could feel the difference um so we got our vet out and she said that there was nothing wrong with his legs um she couldn't feel anything with his legs and she scanned them and there was nothing wrong there so the swelling wasn't down to that so we then moved on to his feet and we x-rayed his feet and we found out about his feet. Um, and yeah, we basically just figured out that he's doing a poo. His feet are the reason why he was a little bit off, nothing majorly, but basically if we had, if we won't, if we don't do anything about it now, then long term, it's just, it's not gonna be good for him. You want them to be as comfortable as possible. And yeah, he probably won't go on to do what we'd like him to do. It's, a, it's quite an easy fix, but it's just knowing what he needs to have done. So, currently he hasn't got any front shoes on, he hasn't done for a couple of days now. Um, we're waiting for our farrier to get some special shoes, shoes for him. Um, he needs to go pick them up and then he'll come over and try them out. And then for a couple of weeks I'll be doing just flat, stuff like that, just to get him used to his new shoes because it's going to feel a lot different. Um, and then hopefully we will be able to start jumping again. But that won't be, a couple, that won't be for a couple of weeks now, which is gutting really because I had some shows planned um, in a couple of weeks time when they come back up again and he was really ready for a show, he hasn't been to a show since October. So I was really gutted about that, but it's better to do it now, um, just get it sorted now rather than having to then sort it further down the line. So yeah, currently he hasn't got any front shoes on, so he won't be doing anything until he has those shoes put back on and then we'll be starting from walk, um, giving him some walk work, then walk and trot, walk trot canter, etc, etc, then get back to jump in once we kind of know that the shoes are working well for him. But anyway, I've been talking for like four minutes now on that. So let me just quickly show you Brian. This is Brian. He is very, very furry, um, quite messy. Hello, Brian. His mane is gross, as you can see. Um, his bridal path needs to be cut. He's very furry, very dirty. So today we're going to give him a good clean up. But first, I'm going to pick up the poo that he's just done before he steps on it and then I'll come back. So first I'm going to tell you about some of the Equibrillium products that I've got. So basically I was very kindly gifted um, their new massage mitt hotspot. Sorry, it's got a bit of dust on it. Um, but here it, here, here it is, it's probably in the back front, but is their new massage mitt hotspot. Um, I've been working with Equilium now for almost a year, I think it's a year at the end of the month. They are very, very kind and very generous, um, always supporting us and yeah, they're just fantastic to work with. I'm always more than happy to help you out. Um, so they messaged me to see if I would be happy to review their new hotspot and tell them what I think about it and tell you guys what I think about it. 
Um, I absolutely love this. I saw them advertised on Instagram. It is a, if you, some of you might have their massage mitt they had originally. Um, Ryan's looking at it. Where's he, Ryan? Ooh. Um, basically, it's pretty much the same. Um, same as their massage mitt. So it has the three settings, but it has two separate massage options. I'll tell you more about that at the moment. And it also has a heat option as well. So it is also a heat therapy mitt. So you can use the heat by itself if you have a sensitive if you have a sensitive horse, or you can use the heat along with the massage option for a deeper, more intense massage, which I absolutely love. I know that heat therapy is really, really good for muscles. Ryan's really, really interested in it. You've seen it before. Um, so yeah, this is their massage mitt hotspot. So I'm gonna open it now for you guys. I have taken out, I don't know if I've taken it out actually. I can't even open it, I'm useless. So when you open it up, I don't want it all to fall out, but you have the battery pack. You have the battery pack here. Um, you have the battery things like the lead and I have different um, sockets as well, like for people in different countries. They also have a little like get started pack, which basically tells you all about every single one of their products, which is really, really great and how to use them and more about them. And then this is the massage mitt hotspot. It has the battery in it because I charged battery up last night, but this is what it looks like. Ryan's really interested because he thinks I've got food. Um, and then on the other side, it has like all the instructions. I don't know if it's gonna focus. Are you gonna focus? Probably not. Focus, focus. Yeah, here. So all the different instructions on it, which is fantastic. I'm gonna show you it from the ground so you can actually see it better. So this is what it looks like. It has all the different options and stuff on it. So I'm going to tell you more about the hotspot now. So they have two different massage options. They have the cyclical massage, which is for if you're holding the hotspot still, targeting a specific area or trigger point. So for instance, some of the places you can use it are on in this booklet here that you receive. So you can use it in the neck region, the shoulder region, the hindquarters and the hamstrings they're just some of the places that are really good for it so if you want to do do the cyclical massage if your horse is a bit tight in those regions when you've had the physio out you can use them in these regions just holding it still for five minutes to help get those muscles moving and help with recovery and any tightness so that's for the cyclical massage but also you can use the continuous massage which is for if you are moving the hotspot over large areas so that each sweep is delivering the same massage so if you want to move it across their body then use this continuous massage so on here this is the cyclical massage option and this is the continuous one so if you press it once on cyclical it turns it on and it goes on to the first setting so there's two there's three settings low medium and high so obviously one is the lowest two and then three and then turn it off you just press it again same for the continuous one two and three it gets quite strong like it's but it's actually really nice i've tried it on myself um and then this is the heat so then you press the heat you can either use, like i said use the heat by, by itself if you have a sensitive pulse again turn it off you just press it again or you can use the heat along with the cyclical massage on any setting or along with the continuous one on any setting as well which is really, really helpful. Um, so you can also use them on humans. In the pack, it has literally all the instructions on more about it and how to use it. And then the next page, if I can open it, also tells you about using it on yourself. Um, my mum tried it on herself and she absolutely loved it. Um, so like you can use it for lower back pain, shoulder pain, and any leg muscle pain as well, which I know that a lot of us, we always look after our horses, but we don't look after ourselves. So it's a great piece of equipment for you to use on yourself as well as your horses. Um, so yeah. So that is more about the massage mitt hotspot. Now I'm going to try it on Ryan and you can see um, how to use it. So basically, like I said, I'm going to use the just the massage today because I'm only going to be doing a really quick tutorial. So I'm not going to use the heat, but what I would usually do is use the heat and use the um, cyclical one and use it on one place. Like for instance, Ryan gets quite tight over this region here. Um, he gets quite tight here and through his neck. So I like to use it on his neck and over his bum. So I'm going to show you that now. So what I would do is I would press the cyclical and i'm going to do it on the high setting because they have had massage pads on before so they don't mind it 
I'm also going to click the heat on as well. And then you go to the area and you just hold it over that area. As you can see, he's a bit confused. But you basically just hold it over that area for about a couple of minutes just to help with that massage. He can feel it, as you can see. Um, he's not uncomfortable, but some horses may be uncomfortable when you first put it on if they're not used to massage. So make sure you start off at the lower setting, put it on them, and just let them get used to it before you put it on a higher setting. Um, so yeah, what they would recommend is you use a lower setting if you're doing any warming up or the medium setting, and then the high setting is just for normal massage therapy if you're going to be unstable. So yeah, that is that. Or I like to do it on his neck as well. As you can see, he's reacting so you can feel it. I'm going to show you up close as well. So like I said, or you can change it over. So you turn the heat off. You'd put the continuous on if you're going to sweep it over. I'm going to again use it on the high setting. And then I'm going to show you it. So you would sweep it across areas if you're going to do this. You can feel it. So like I said, this is on the continuous one for sweeping. So then you would just sweep it across the body. Like so, or you can go across like this. And you can also press firmer for a more deep massage, depending on your horse's reaction, of course. But yeah, that is pretty much it. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about it now on the actual muscle side of it. As I said, in the booklet, it has pretty much everything in there, but you can, of course listen to what I've said or you can check out their website as well they have all the information on their website so it basically says in this booklet the choice is yours pick from heat and two types of massage therapy which I already told you guys about it soothes it soothes muscles with reliable repeatable heat therapy it tailors the massage with three different strengths you can fit it into your daily routine with a 10 minute program there's no muscle you can't reach target each session to your needs and it's battery operated you can take it wherever which is great i find that the batteries last ages um so yeah i absolutely love it the heat therapy that it has which i definitely love the heat therapy it increases blood flow to the area provides muscle relaxation increases flexibility of tissues and is good for pain relief as well so if you have a horse that has any tight spots it's great for that um so yeah that is pretty much it about their massage meat hotspot i really really like this piece of kit and i'm really looking forward to using it more often with the boys um they both seem to really really enjoy their sessions if you do want to purchase one they are available from the end of march you can use my code keris10 for 10 percent off uh capital c and my name is spelled c-e-r-y-s so yeah order yourself one you can order them now but it won't arrive until the end of march but it's definitely a piece of kit that you would want um in your tack room so i'm just gonna quickly do this up and then what i do want to quickly show you as well is their massage pad which i'm sure is the product that a lot of you will know x brilliant for the massage pad so i was very very kindly gifted this massage pad back in i think it was august last year and honestly i absolutely love it i've run it i've run it i've raved about it so much now absolutely love this piece of equipment I use it pretty much every single day before I ride the boys. I just find it helps really relax them and warm up their backs, especially if you have a cold backed horse. It is really, really fun for that. So this is it. It only it goes across their backs. So I definitely think you could use them both in conjunction with each other. So you can use a massage pad for their back. And then whilst they have the massage pad on session, you can use the massage mitt hotspot to do the areas that the massage pad doesn't cover. So if they're necks or their hindquarters so yeah this is a really really great piece of equipment that i think everyone should have in their tack room as well i find that massage rug etc are so so expensive they're like in the grand regions they're like two three grand 
Um, I'm very, very lucky to have one, but we got it second hand and we were really, really lucky with where we got it from. But yeah, they're very, very expensive and not, not a lot of people can afford them. So this is definitely a really, really great product to have. Um, I think they're about 300 pound, but if you use my discount, you can get 10% off of these as well, which is fantastic. So it has like a little pocket here, which you put, which has the battery, which has the operator in it. So it's probably back to front, but I'll show you it in a second. And just a really nice little pocket. And then the other side is the battery. So you can undo it from here to charge it. So let me show you it on. They're very, very easy to put on to. You just put them over the back. Better. Can I make sure this doesn't fall off? Mm. Yeah, you just do it up, you crisscross the straps to here. He's breathing out currently. And there are looseners and there are looseners and tighteners under the bottom. So if I show you. As I said before, they have the operator in here. Well, that's not the operator. <laughs> As I said before, you have an operator in the first one. So basically there are different options. So to press it on, you obviously press the on off button and it goes on to the low setting. So again, you can have the low setting for any sensitive horses and then you have the medium setting and the high setting. They recommend using the low or the medium setting for warming up their backs. Um, but obviously it depends on how sensitive they are at the moment it's on the high setting, which is great for just a normal everyday massage. So yeah. And then you turn it on and that is it. And it just does a, I think it's a 15 minute session, which they absolutely love. So yeah, that is their massage pad. Like I said, you can use my code carries 10 for 10% off any products that are not in the sale. Um, so yeah, these are definitely my two favorite products so far, but I literally have so much. I use their hay blocks, which boys love. They also love their treats, which they sell sugar-free treats, which are great for horses that can't have much sugar. Um, Ryan uh and i also use their boots a lot as well their boots are really great especially for the summer turnout they're very breathable and yeah i just really like this is ryan's reaction to having it on <laughs> so so yeah i'm just gonna let him have that massage pad on and then i will ride brian and then i'll see you guys to do brian's makeover so we are back ready for brian's makeover this is what he looked like before as you can see very furry and very messy ready for a nice tidy up
I have just finished clipping Brian. I now think there's more hair on me than there is on him. That's the one thing I hate about clipping is the feeling of being covered by hair afterwards. But he looks a lot smarter now. He's shaved, you're bald. Managed to get everything out. Um, I didn't do a time lapse of his legs or a bit of his head as I needed some help as he isn't the best at being clipped. He's fairly good, but he's just quite fidgety and then he gets agitated, so I needed some help. But I did manage to get more out in the end. Um, I'm just going to Dettol in, which is basically, I put some Dettol in some water and just wipe it over them to get all the dust and hair and stuff off. I really like doing that, it leaves them all shiny. Um, and then, yeah, this is me covered in his hair. Literally, absolutely covered. I am in need of a shower. <sighs> So he had been dettled off and was looking a lot smarter, a lot less grubby and got all the dust and stuff off of him. Yeah, looking a lot better and finally looking like a show jumper again, ready to get back out. So that is this video done. Brian is now clipped and back in his stable, rugged up. Hope you enjoyed seeing his little transformation. I look so rough. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. And we will see you guys next time. Woo!